And today marks the third year of the since the historic flood of 2019 that swept through the Quad Cities. Tonight, here's a look back of that day. The flood wall breached and our coverage. We are back now with our breaking news coverage, team coverage in downtown Davenport tonight where a levee breach has happened. Jim, I have never seen a situation like this in downtown Davenport. This aerial picture shows you exactly where that levee breach happened. This is where the floodwaters just swept up downtown Davenport within minutes. As far as we know, you know, that's just one breach. That's impacting this part of 2nd Street. It came up so fast. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's terrifying. The Half Nelson, it's a restaurant in downtown Davenport. This was actually supposed to be their opening day. So instead of opening his doors to customers, he's opening his doors to water. You can see the water is just coming through the door. No matter what you would do, you can see it piled up right here. Workers and helpers trying to sandbag to create somewhat of a barrier. Workers, everyone here is sandbagging, trying to get any single bit that they can of this water away. And it is all hands on deck, just trying to get everyone to safety. Our fire, public safety, all the people involved responded very quickly, evacuated those that needed their that support. If you are stuck in the flood waters as a resident in the downtown area, uh, the uh, Scott County Emergency Management uh, is now saying please dial 911. So these are some Eldridge employees out here helping sandbag and lay down those bags for some people who can't quite do it themselves. We're just trying to keep the water off the floor. Mm -hmm. If you want to come inside, we can go inside. Okay. We're going to try to go inside. That's a floating freezer float. This is the first time it's ever been that bad. They were able to hold it back for so long, mm -hmm. but once the breach occurs, you can't unscoop that water. No. You, you just can't get it back into place. They didn't know. They had no idea that something like this was going to happen. There was nothing that their sandbags or preparation could do. I kind of was hoping with the, the new HESCO barriers and that that we would be protected, but who would have thought, you know, we would have got this much rain and this much water this fast. So. The fight's over, the fight's over, you know? Mother Nature is mean today anyway. Unfortunately, it's just uh, the nature of the, the, the river and the situation. And tonight on Brood, right after News 8 at 10 p.m., we are re-airing a special episode to mark three years since the flood of 2019. It focuses on the devastation to two downtown Davenport breweries. And again, that's tonight at 1035 p.m. Be sure to also follow Brood's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages using the handle at Brood TV.